Israel, you should be ashamed. Killing main thousands of civilians in our name. Claim you hitting terrorists, but children in your aim. Even murder relief workers, what's spilling from their brain? While they tried to drive the ambulance, so they couldn't stand a chance. Even bomb students, hospitals, my Rafa and Han Yunus. Shot them in their back like the cops to Oscar Grant. And in each case, the good old United States sponsored that. Seven million a day that we pay tax and APAC lobbyists is robbing us. Sometimes it feels like there ain't no stopping this. But now nobody can deny it cause you made it too obvious. Naked truth exposed like the emperor's clothes. The struggle's getting hotter and the temperature rose. Since 1948 when you formed the state, Palestinian people still defending their homes. They ain't been surrendering. No. Boycott, divest, the sanction. Boycott, divest, the sanction. Boycott, divest, the sanction. At the Jewish University Center, sponsored by Hillel. Empi Itam is a racist. He is a fascist. He has called for the extermination of Palestinians, called for the extermination and the ex expulsion of Arabs from Palestine 48. And he's speaking tonight, a fascist speaking here tonight. On behalf of Hillel, that's why we're all here. That's what we're demanding is to stop hate speech in Oakland, in our very own city. We would never have a speaker that called for the death of Jews, that called for the death of blacks, that called for the death of gays. But yet here tonight at, at the Jewish University Center, they're sponsoring a man who called for the very same thing for the death and the expulsion of Arabs and Palestinians. It's a shame. Shame on you, Hillel. Shame on you, Hillel. Shame, 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 shame. He's parking his bus right here. If he comes up on it. States to attack and bomb Iran. And this reminds me very, very um, scarily of what happened just before the United States invaded Iraq in 2003, where Benjamin Net Netanyahu um, came to Pittsburgh and encouraged the United States to go to war against Iraq. Unfortunately, that, that war came true, and we're still protesting that today. 
So why are we here this evening? We are here because we are loving people and we oppose hate speech. We are here because we are decent people and we oppose uncivil, indecent speech. We are here because we are a people who affirm justice and human rights and we oppose apartheid and racism and ethnic cleansing. We are here because we are peaceful people and we seek peace. We are here today to oppose the attitudes and opinions of an Israeli leader who has compared the presence of Arab citizens of Israel to cancer. We are here today to oppose the attitudes and opinions of an Israeli leader who advocates the deportation of Palestinians from Israel and even from the West Bank. We are here today to oppose the attitudes and opinions of an Israeli leader who would place the Palestinian people under a system of oppression and domination similar to what black Africans had to endure under apartheid in South Africa or what African Americans have had to endure here in the United States under segregation and Jim Crow. We represent the Middle East Peace Forum of Pittsburgh. We're a diverse group of people of all walks of life and uh, you know we have been working so hard to open up a dialogue and uh, with our Jewish friends, American friends, everyone, our Muslim friends and we've, I think we've come to um, have a few successes and a lot of education in the community. This event tonight it just defeats everything that we stand for. It is appalling the things that he is teaching our youngsters here in America, here in Pittsburgh, in our community. My name is Al Hart. I'm with the United Electrical Workers Union, the UE. And uh, a union that has a long history of opposing unjust wars by this country, uh, Vietnam and a lot of others, uh, including the war in Iraq. Our uh, union had its convention four months ago and our members passed a resolution reaffirming our position that we've held for many years that we oppose the one-sided policy of our government supporting all, all the actions of the State of Israel and funding the illegal and unjust occupation of the Palestinians. What's going on now in Palestine and the occupied territories is it is perfectly legitimate for Israelis to wage terror in broad daylight while the army, the Israeli alleged defense forces observe this and allows that to happen. And remember while it's happening that you're not the only one viewing that. The Arab world watches that. Many, many people around the world watch that. And every single day it enrages people as well it should and it should enrage us. I went to Muhlenberg College and I graduated in May and last year I took, I took up uh, a cause of Palestine, I started to identify with my Arab heritage and I started wearing kafiyas and I grew a beard and I went to, the, it's the biggest, most active Hillel in the country and there was a group there called Muhlenberg United for Israel and when I directed the play called Ra My Name is Rachel Corey about a woman who left her college to seek the cause of peace and use, put her body on, on the line as an international in Gaza to block home demolitions they came and disrupted the play then they vandalized our set. Then they slashed my tires. And then they shouted me down all over campus and called me a racist. And all three years prior, I had been going to hell every Sunday for bagel brunch and interacting with them and enjoying the Jewish culture because I lived across the hall from four Jews who supported me. And the racism that could be preached to the, from these by these speakers endangers people like Students for Justice in Palestine with violence and destruction and hate. Israeli. My government's so arrogant. War criminals who call Palestinians terrorists for resisting extinction and occupation, comparing us to genocide and reservations of Native Americans. Uh, it's a massacre. Kick out their ambassador. Divest from the apartheid like South Africa. Boycott them like King to Montgomery buses. Show them we want peace, but only with real justice. They murdering the media and witnesses left. We're gonna stop shopping at all the businesses that invest in building their settlements and gentrifying our corners illegal. Walls over there and the U.S. Mexico border. 
Boycott, divest, and sanction. Till this right of return for displaced and reparations.